have no doubt that all my teachers have loved life teaching on the OutSchool platform. Over the past year of 2020 into 2021, OutSchool and online teaching in general have seen a huge boom due to the COVID pandemic. Now that the pandemic is winding down and I have been on the platform for over a year now, do I think it's still worth it? I'm sharing with you today my experience over the year on teaching on OutSchool, my predictions in the future, and, and if I think it is still worth it for new teachers to join the OutSchool teaching platform. Hello, my name is Serena from SincerelySerena.com. I am an online teacher, on, on blah, blah, entrepreneur, and the champion of all things teaching and doing things online. I don't even know what my intro is. Take two. Now that the COVID pandemic is winding down, at least here in the United States, it is winding down. More and more kids are going in in-person things like school, sports, all of the things. It's the middle of May in 2021. A lot of states are doing their state testings for public school kids. Summer is coming, warm weather is here, and what are people wanting to do? And if you are a current OutSchool teacher, let me know in the comments below how your current bookings are. Are you in a slum right now? Are you steady as always? Or have you seen an uptick in your enrollment? Okay, as an online teacher, you may be coming onto the OutSchool bandwagon late and you may be looking at other people's comments either in online forums like Facebook groups or through YouTube, social media or whatnot. And you're seeing people's comments like, oh, what's happening to OutSchool? I don't have any learners, all of the things. And you're probably wondering, is applying to teach to OutSchool even worth it? now that the pandemic's almost over. Today I'm going to let you know whether or not it is worth it or not in my predictions. But first, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of background of me. If you are new to my channel, you may not know that I started my online teaching career as a VIP kid teacher. I was an ESL teacher for a very long time, getting up in the wee hours of the morning. Then during that time period, I signed up to take a course with a very famous ESL teacher at the time to learn how to create a YouTube channel. Through this course though, this course has changed my life in many ways and one of those ways is the friendships that I have found through this course. I met some lovely, lovely online teachers that started teaching without school and really convinced me that although I do not have a formal education in teaching that I could jump on that platform and start teaching things that I really wanted to teach about instead of ESL stuff. <laughs> and at this time in my ESL career I was just kind of standing stagnant and I wasn't really excited to get up at 2 a.m. anymore. <laughs> so fast forward to a couple of months the COVID pandemic hit and OutSchool experienced a huge boom all the way through the fall into the winter time and I decided to quit VIP Kid and focus on my out school classes as well as building a couple of other income streams. It is now May and I still am teaching on out school and I'm still loving it. I think I joined out school at the perfect time during the pandemic. I joined in May of 2020 and it was the time period that everything sh was shut down. Students could not really do anything, especially through the summertime, and parents needed a way to occupy their kids at home, and so they discovered out school. A lot of my classes took off during the summertime. I had some really cool camps that were always booked, and then into the fall, I experienced a huge ego boost when my Hamilton classes were very popular. Things went great through Christmas. Saw a, especially in my Hamilton history classes from January to now, a slowly decline in student enrollment. So I do predict that the pandemic bubble that was created, the business bubble that was created for OutSchool is going to pop if it hasn't already popped. I, I believe that the, the the pandemic bubble for OutSchool at least has popped. Now, 
Here are my predictions. Is OutSchool still worth it to teach on? Should I even waste my time or should I even, you know, put time into creating classes on OutSchool if everybody's experiencing a booking decline? And here's my short answer, yes. Yes, I think OutSchool is still worth it if you are willing to have patience and go with the flow of the booking cycle. I am not a pre-COVID out school teacher, so I personally do not have experience with what it was like on out school pre-COVID. However, I have been talking to a lot of pre-COVID teachers as, and seeing things, conversations happening on Facebook groups that summer, Pre-COVID, summer for out school was slow. There's many reasons why summer is slow for out school. Yes, the majority of the, the students on out school were homeschool students and homeschool students tend to stop doing regular school or regular learning or traditional, they're never doing traditional learning. Their school year ends a lot sooner than public schools is what I'm trying to say. So they may stop doing the academic focus classes and start doing fun activities at home, or maybe they might turn into the fun hobby activities on out school. Summer vacations and just parents in general, like just want a break. Kids in general just want a break. That is why I believe that summer months in out school are, are traditionally slow. My predictions for 2021, I think it is going to start leveling out and maybe it is not going to go right where pre-COVID was, the summers and pre-COVID. I think it's still going to be higher than what pre-COVID was. However, it is going to level off and we're not going to have this big boom like we had last year. You could also hold off and yes, apply for the out the platform, but hold off to really putting time and effort until everybody's going back in the fall. You can spend this time during the summertime and really figure out how you are going to run a semester academic class or how are you going to structure your classes for the fall. There are many reasons why this COVID bubble um, has popped on out school and it is already because of the things that I've already mentioned but let's face it these these poor students have been on computers they have been learning on zoom for more than a year and a half they're tired they're tired of being on the computer they need a break it is warm outside they want to go outside and they can probably see their friends now and play outside and, and and parents want to see their children outside and doing the things that they want to do me where i live in st louis although we are, we do have to wear masks we can now go to fun places like the park and the zoo and and those places so i'm going to take that opportunity and do those things with my kids during the summertime that last year let's face it as parents and as young children living in the united states last summer really stunk because we really couldn't do anything and I think a lot of parents were kind of trading that off with hey I paid for this class online it's really cool we can't go out to the park we can't go to the zoo but hey you can get online and learn how to make cookies from this cool teacher the prediction of what is going to do well on out school this summer is I'm not going to say non-academic classes because I think ac academic classes can do well during the summertime as long as you present it in a fun way. You can also take, and if you are a veteran out school teacher, you can take your long courses that you did during the school year and condense them into a cool camp. However, if you plan on teaching multiplication, figure out how you can take that multiplication curriculum and make it fun and engaging, especially for summer. Like these students, they have been doing regular school, traditional learning all school year. They want to do some fun things. So now's the time to throw out experiment classes. If you have hobbies like sewing or card making or baking, try and if you and if you are interested in teaching those things, try doing those types of courses. And I think if you pick something that is short term, um, whether it be a week long camp or maybe long as I would say two weeks, instead of the uh, multi day classes where it's like, uh, give me two hundred dollars up front. <sighs> okay, so my bottom line, my friends, out school is still worth it. I, I still think that is a viable way to make online income. However, 
Um, I would not put all your eggs in the outschooled basket. I have a couple of videos that tell you other income streams. I will link that those down below. This is the time period for the summer to breathe, my friends. Breathe. And I know breathing is hard if you are the sole breadwinner for your family. I understand. But the summertime on outschool is the time to either uh, take a break, experiment, try new things, try fun classes, and have fun. And, and don't put too much pressure on you guys, okay? If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comments below. We have a OutSchool Facebook group, an official Facebook group called Navigating OutSchool. You can find me hanging out in that as well. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and have a great summer, my friends.